everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, our baby's down for a nap, so we're gonna see if we can install the Orion roof rack mm -hmm. while he's asleep. Mm -hmm. Let us show you how we do it. Okay, things that come with the pack. Uh, solar brackets, so these come separately, um, but a must have because these allow you to have your solar panels mount flush with the top of the rack, which is awesome. These are the crossbars, 8020 crossbars. This is the uh, front deflector panel. This is the rear deflector panel, and then all this stuff is the side paneling for the roof rack. So let's get started. Um, so in this bag is all of the like bits and bobs. So like the bolts and everything like that, bolts, washers, uh, anchors, all that stuff that will connect everything together. Okay, so your mounting kit um, also comes with a bunch of hardware. So you've got a tool kit here with a 532nd Allen wrench, an anti-seize lubricant, treadlock, and all that stuff. And then you've got track washers for your factory track, so you need a track for these to go into. So until you get one of these, you cannot install the rack. So you need at least that. And you, if you don't have one, you can get them on Amazon. Super cheap, I'll link it. Um, and then, let's see here. So you've got your hex nylon nuts, you've got your spring nut, balls, carriage bolts, all sorts of hardware. Um, so, and then some links, which link the different pieces together, the different, these rails, the pieces of the rails together. So, um, you'll have all of these things. They're nice and labeled. Um, so, yeah, makes it easy to kind of keep track of what everything is. And then we'll go through how to use it all. Do you want to hand this stuff up to me up there? Yes, please. Front rail right. Oh, this is awesome. Everything is labeled. Oh, so maybe don't take all the packages off. Okay. Just like set stuff up there. Okay. So front right though, is that front, like which right. way are you? I would probably be like right left. So at this point, we're just kind of putting everything up on top of the van and then uh, we'll lay it out where everything is supposed to go. So, after we got everything up on top of the van, I started putting things together, and the first thing I wanted to put together was this front fairing. Turns out that this is probably one of the more complicated things to do. It's not really that hard, but it's it takes a little bit of finesse and finagling, and probably shouldn't be done on top of a nine foot van. So uh, I realized this pretty quickly and then ended up doing this on the ground. Okay, so I'm on the ground now, much better. So this part, relatively easy, straightforward. I just slid the little T-nuts in relatively the spot where they would be, lining them up with the holes in the front fairing. And then once that's done, you can flip the fairing over. When I get on top, you'll see your T-nuts underneath. And then they won't be perfectly lined up, so you can use your Allen wrench to slide the T-nuts in line perfectly and then you're good to go and then you can take a drop of your Loctite thread lock pop it in there boom done easy peasy One thing that's nice, with every Orion product, there's a little card that comes with it with a QR code. Just scan it and it has full instructions as well. With all things van, if you've ever done a van or you're in the middle of do, building a van, nothing is easy as what you think it should be, even with a kit. Um, so our roof rails, um, they say that they were factory roof rails, but I guess maybe they're not, I don't know. But so this little thing here is what needs to slide into the roof rails for it to attach these side rails here. The problem is, is that there are these little bolts that attach the roof rail, these guys, to the van itself. And so that is blocking 
this, so I cannot slide it past there. So what I need to do is just basically bonk it over a little bit. So what I've been doing is just using another carriage bolt, I'm giving it a little tap, tap, tap I've got this first side rail on, I've got the carriage bolts in place, I line the carriage bolts up with the holes in the side rail, and then I just place that side rail on top of those bolts, and then put your nylock bolts or nuts on there, tighten them down, uh, just loosely tight so you can adjust it back and forth as needed. So it's loosely attached right now. So you've got a bolt here, a bolt there, and a bolt there. And as you can see, the stabilizer is also on here, which the stabilizer extends past here and attaches to the front part right there, the front part of the side rail. I've also installed this part which is the front fairing. Okay, so here's the front fairing. Partially installed. So on one side, okay, so there are five bolts. And these two bolts attach to that 80-20 piece which we connected before, right here. So what you're gonna do first, connect this one here, and then the same thing on the other side. Boop. So, and that'll just gently, or just kind of like, initially hold this in place. And then you can start attaching the other screws. And so, there are different screws for different things. So, all of these, these first two are actually longer screws. They're one inch and a quarter, and these ones are one inch. And so, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add thread lock to these ones, which go directly into the fairing, or the 8020. These ones have anti-seize on them. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's what the instructions say. So anti-seize goes on these. So this goes directly into the fairing, and this one actually goes into the, the stabilizer on the other side, that stabilizer angle that I showed you before. So that's how you do that. Pretty straightforward, and don't make the same mistake I did, which was very stupid. And at first I put this on upside down, and I was like, this doesn't work. So make sure that the curve fits with the curve of your van. So that's how you know it's in the right orientation. Remember to install the connection plates between each rail. So as you can see, Brighton and I are just uh, adding all the side rails on, putting everything loosely in place with these bolts, and then kind of sliding everything where it needs to go. You can see here also that I'm continually tapping these uh, carriage bolts over to get them in the right place. crouching right now um, praying for my knees because they're in a lot of pain right now from crouching anyway update to where we are right now so we've got the uh, the front fairing on and we've got the sides and everything is loosely tied down or loosely bolted down at this point um, because we want to adjust things uh, a little bit here and there so a very important thing, at least with our van and lining up like where to line everything up, is this front seam here, if you can see that, should line up with this weld line on the outside of the van, which happens to also be the back side of the sliding door. So this seam right here should line up with this seam here. So like I said over there, we put these mounting plates and these mounting brackets on, which connect these two pieces together and we did that all the way down, all the way back. Um, so now what we're gonna do is basically um, put the crossbars on. So at 
this point you have two options. These little guys, these little links here to link the top parts of where all the seams are, but we're gonna do crossbars, so you can either use these links or the crossbars. The crossbars I'm gonna use because that works with the setup of our van, but if you have a maybe a, like a 144 or some other type of van, maybe the links will be better because you can't get a crossbar over the top of your uh, like vent fan or whatever it is. So, but for us, crossbars. Okay, onward and upward with the installation of the crossbars. Uh, this is a pretty simple process. Um, just line up the crossbars where you want them to go, depending on the layout of your van. Like I mentioned before, if you have a smaller van or if you have a AC system or a ventilation fan or whatnot that's in the way, uh, it, these are fully adjustable so you can put the roof rack or the crossbars anywhere you want. Uh, just simply attach them with the included screws, making sure to put on uh, just a dab or a drop of thread lock uh, on the screws before you install them. And loosely tighten them down so you can adjust them, get them where you want, and then tighten them all the way once you have them where you uh, would like them. Okay, so when you're putting the back piece on, you just wanna make sure that it's oriented the right way so that you want the flare pointed backwards towards the back of the van, and it's so you can read Orion from the back. Um, to attach it, you put the three quarter uh, inch long bolts on there with some anti-seize. And this stuff is super messy. It's kind of annoying, um, but it should come off with alcohol or acetone. So I just add a little bit there, and there. Tighten these up, do the same thing to the other side. This was one of my favorite parts, probably because we were almost done, but it is very satisfying to watch this uh, and see this rack come together. Uh, especially when you're putting the crossbars on because then you can kind of design it how you want to and start planning and you know about the storage that you're gonna do or the solar panel array or whatnot but it's this is my favorite part for sure Just putting the last two crossbars on our roof rack. I'm so excited. We have needed one because obviously with three kids and our family has way too many hobbies between climbing, surfing, mountain biking, we need all of the storage we can get for our gear. So this is gonna be so nice to have. Okay, one more crossbar to go. I'm almost done, I'm so excited.